patches. They're making their way back on the runways and all over your clothing. And the other week, Maximus the Awesomeness suggested that we do an episode on patches, and a few of you, 36 of you to be exact, liked it up, so here we are. Still early. So here's the thing about patches. You either need a really nice embroidery machine or a crap ton of time and some really good embroidery skills. I possess none of those things. So aside from hopping on Amazon or heading down to the mall and picking up a couple patches, I'm going to show you a couple ways that you can do it yourself. Here's what we're looking at. Hand-drawn canvas patches and embroidered jean patches. I'm going to show you how to make both, starting with the canvas patch. You'll need some canvas material, that one's a drop cloth I got from the hardware store, some heat and bond fabric sheets found at the craft store, some kind of drawing device like a sharpie, scissors, a ruler, and a sewing machine. First, cut yourself out a piece of canvas. Then begin to draw your image. I'm doing a simple, iconic Brooklyn water tower. Follow up by outlining the shape you want your patch. Now grab your sewing machine and choose a zigzag stitch. Set the stitch length to zero and the stitch width to two. Then carefully begin sewing along your outline. When you're finished, roughly cut out your patch and apply it to the heat and bond sticky sheet. Cut it out off there and lastly trim and clean up your edges. Now as best as you can, try to avoid snipping any of those threads. To apply, just peel the backing off the heat and bond and find something cool to stick it on. Boom. Handmade patch. Now for the second method, embroidery. Now embroidery machines, like I said, are the best thing for this, but if you're uh, down to take a stab at it and you got some time, go for it. For this, you'll need an old pair of jeans, heat and bond, the embroidery needles and some embroidery thread, a white marking pencil, a ruler, an embroidery hoop, and your trusty pair of scissors. First, cut out a piece of jean material large enough for your hoop and stretch it into place. Then with your marking pencil, create the outline of your image. I'm going for the threadbanger initials, not the disease. Thread your needle and starting from the back of the material, begin to embroider your image. Line by line by line. Being sure to tie off and not your finished threads on the back. Now some of you might be good at embroidery, I am clearly not, so you could save all of those Rob, you suck at embroidery comments. I did my best guys. Did my best. Need a little more help with embroidery? There's plenty of videos out there. Check out the description below for some of our favorites. Now cut out your patch and place on top the sticky side of the heat and bond, cut it out, trim your edges, being careful not to snip any of your threads, and you're done. Mix in a couple other store-bought patches on there, and hey, you can't even tell which one's DIY and which one isn't. Okay, maybe you can, but they look pretty cool. Dress up an old hoodie, a hat, a vest, whatever it is, your wardrobe just got a whole lot cooler. Got project suggestions? Leave them in the comments below. And as always, if you make something after watching a Threadbanger video, we want to see it, so send it on in. We'll see you next time.